Somebody lift your two hands, bless the name of the Lord this morning. He has called us to the banqueting hall. And breakthrough is the banner set over us this morning. Lift those two hands up in the air. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Let it be loud. When winners pray, you know it. Because it's always loud, it's always vigorous. Only the violent ever take anything from the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Register your presence. Register yourself in His presence now. Register yourself in His presence. The God of breakthroughs in the house. Register your presence. Register yourself in His presence now. Let your tools be up in the air. Let your voice be loud. In acknowledgement of His power, of His presence, of His glory. Ruabe ke topedi zero topedi ande jaglo zia nino keru badio be zia topalos aglo zote ke kopedi anioba inagabo jada rozo tokopedi engedo jaroash aglo zote erabe degede zia onto meloja inoro zize nike pobadi aminaboda jadia de anglo zia anglo Rososia, Anglosia, Rato Pedo, Rosose, 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 Kekumadi, Jagade, Nito Padia, Incopedia, Isoneto, Liroja, Igagadia Ziza, Rato Pedi, Encopelo, Le Rosose, Nina Lalabaraba, Agado Zezie, Eneroja, Oniobe, Igagadia Zuse, Intarobe, Cacopia, 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 Nalu. Aja iniezuzia ruaba ilio kopedo ibadoja ikadia suze ombre doja ombre doja iruzazi ninalo kekopedi agaga dia suze inoba iruaba dikedo aboja 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 ruaso suze eko kopedo eko kopedo abado jega desezia inano roso topedo we praise your name oh God. Zina Badito in Capiode Rose 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 Kikopedia de Anioba Dosha in Abiene Nieme no Minemi Nina no Mina Nina Ikitupe Tedi Kiruzuzi Nino Zeti Kopa Ikuapo Abine Dusha Iruzuzia Lebadute Kupe Lido Dodo Bidi Dadia di Doja de Rosso no Kope Kukupadi Amina no no Kope Gedo Bedosha Iruazota Thank you Lord Go, yeah. You Thank you for bringing us into this service. Thank you because you know you have brought us. You brought us to satisfy us. You brought us to give us breakthrough. You brought us to bring an end to the toiling and the struggles and the stagnations. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. 
Take all the glory. Thank you, Father. Take all the glory. In Jesus, mighty name we worship. Father, we are right at your feet. Let your work come to us. Let your work shed your light upon us. Let every darkness be shattered. Let breakthrough become the portion of each one. That none of us will return. The same way we came today. Thank you, Father. You, Father. We vow that all the glory will return to you. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. mighty name we are praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Oh, you are glorious. Worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb of
Scripture says, Come unto me, all ye that labor, and I have been lady, and I will give you rest. Come, verse 28, all ye that labor, and I have been lady, and I will give you rest. I will give you rest. So rest is guaranteed. When we come to him. No one is permitted to come. And to continue in labor. I don't know who is under my voice. Under the service. Under my voice. You labor. You toil. You toil. Struggling. You are going through a hard time. I bring the good news to you this morning. In this service, God is bringing you to rest. Life, life is full of troubles. That's true. But he says, I have overcome the world for you. So that you can go and enjoy triumph all the way. So hear me now. In, what, in whatever way or in whatever aspect of your life that the enemy has kept you and has held you, held you bound. I won't allow your life to blossom and flourish. This service, judgment is coming upon the wicked. Judgment is coming upon your enemy. You will hear good report today. You will hear your good news today. In the name of Jesus. I don't know who I'm saying to, but I'm saying to somebody in this service. You have dwelt long enough at that spot. 
We have waited and believed God and desired. Change of story. But it has not come. God is asking me to tell you. A me that died, that was dead, but I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive and I live forevermore. Holding the keys of life and death for your sake. I'm come down right now to open the gates, unlock the doors, and set you free. I'm come down for a drastic, dramatic change of your story. Now the same issues that has kept you in a corner before this service is over, you're working out. I'll be free forever. The Holy Spirit want me to tell somebody what you have not been able to do with all your attempts before the end of today. Is done already in your life. Say the spirit of the Lord. Say the spirit of the Lord. There are some individuals in this service. This is your first time of being here. And honestly, you have me to tell you. Hold it. Hold it. In this place, Maybe. we don't talk just for talking sake. Sorry, that are the way talk for people to give. We don't whine people here. We don't hype people here. We don't just speak anyhow. I'm saying that for somebody now. Sing that to somebody now. Okay. So, so, God is saying, you came here for the first time today. I intentionally brought you. I've seen the way things are going in your life. And it's like nothing can work. But I have a great place for you. And I want to... I want to project you, that's it. I want to project you. Forcefully bring you out of the limitations. And place you in the great place I have for you. That's why I brought you. That's why I brought you. I have a destiny of greatness for David. And they kept him in the bush. But I stepped down. Stepped down by myself. And I brought him out. Of the bush. Without the assistance of any man. And I placed him on the throne. I had a great destiny for Joseph. Joseph. But his brother sold him out and buried his case. Joseph, Joseph, your case is finished here. But I, my hand followed him to the street. Picked him. When he was at the lowest point. And brought him on the throne. Now. I brought you here today because it is your time to step on the throne. So open your heart. 
Say this will be Lord. Father, we thank you. Our heart is open. We are ready for you. Cause your word and your light to shine upon us. And thank you for doing it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can I hear a louder amen? Please clap for Jesus Church. So on the behalf of Jesus, I want to welcome us to this business breakthrough service. In the name of Jesus the Christ, break down has come to an end in your life today. It's a special anointing service. So get ready. Your life is taking a new turn. I can't hear the amen. In the first service, the state pastor brought the word of God to us in a very strange way. In an amazing way. I'll be hardened to what we have had, what we have been told in the first service. And I trust God. No one here is returning from this service the same. I speak by the authority of heaven. Before this year is over. They will hear your name in nations. They will hear of you in nations. You believe that I will hear your loudest amen. We have been on this subject. Serving God and the interest of his kingdom pays the unmatchable. We're taking part three B in this service. Serving God and the interest of his kingdom pays the unmatchable. Psalm 34 verse 8 Psalm 34 verse 8 Hear me now. Every issue that has been a concern to you in life, anything that has made your heart to worry, anything that has made you to shed any secret tear, before this service is over, it will turn to you for a celebration. It will turn to you for a celebration. It will turn to you for a celebration. I'm speaking about you. Let me hear your loudest amen. Anyone with any plague of hell sitting on his life, any mark of the devil on your life, any planting of hell in any aspect of your life, hear me now. By the authority of heaven and by the liberation unction, in this service, there shall be liberation for you. I said there shall be liberation for you. That mark of hell shall be totally erased of your life. You will that say louder, amen. Psalm 34, verse 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. God is a good God. You come and taste him. You enjoy the goodness of the Lord. With all confidence. Say, Taste. And you will see. Our God is not sour. He's not bitter. Sweet. And good. Lift your throat now. I decree the name of Jesus the Christ. From today. The goodness of the Lord. Shall be your portion from now. I said the goodness of the Lord becomes your portion from now. 
I decree today the goodness of the Lord becomes your experience from today. In the name of Jesus, anything and everything contrary to the goodness of God that any woman of my voice is experiencing and going through, I command it terminated. The Lord is good. Verse 10. Verse 10. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they, they, they that seek the Lord change the word seek to serve. They that serve the Lord that serve the Lord shall not let men amidst us. You know when the word shall is used. That's QED. That's the end of the story. That's, it cannot be altered. Shall not want any good thing. Not that it shall not lack. It shall not want. It shall not want. He is moved to the realm that his wants will be satisfied. They that serve. Serving God is not just doing activities in church. Serving God, when you understand it, is a deal. They that serve will never lack, will never lose. God is committed to satisfy not only their need, not only their needs, but their wants. They shall not. Service is a business deal with the Jehovah God. It is so sweet to serve this Jesus. Just to take him by his word. Just to rest. I am not troubled again. As I serve, he must. 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 Anything I want, he must. Christ is so sweet, having God. He's so sweet, Sammy oh, God. No, that is, is the you. secret to the sweetest life ever. Ah, the young lions can laugh. Men of strength. Men of timber and caliber. Men of high connection. Men of great certificates. Men of high level capabilities. Those are the young lions. The genius is on the earth. The ex-pastors and the gurus. They can lack. But the weakling, the, the, the weaklings, the weaklings, the non entities that are serving God, they are not permitted to lack. The sweeper of the streets, that is the job of that lady, sweeping the streets. She is not permitted to lack. When people walking with Chevron and Shell, that is the God I'm talking about. You. That is the God that has invited us. He said, My son, my daughter. I'm the whole abundant God. I'm your father. As your father. 
the right to everything I have. But your service is what will bring you to that right. Your service is what, what will make all my sufficiency to be available to you. Terrible. 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 You are not permitted to lack. As a child of God. But that is when you are in this business. See, until your connection to God. Your life with God. Your relationship with God. Is approached as a business. On this platform. You are not set for the blessing of Christianity. Many of us serve God as one of those things. Yeah, if I have time. Don't you know I have a job? Why something becomes the business of your life? How do you approach it? That is the only way a man can approach his relationship with God that things will work. Business, business approach. I don't care whether you are a stuck in literature earning a business. I don't care whether you never had any level of education. God that served the Lord. God that served the Lord. I don't care all the credentials that they, they said you never had. I don't care what has disqualified you. But God that served the Lord. The Bible says, shall not. Shall not. I declare over somebody's life now. Christ of Amen. So let's serve him that way. Let's serve him that way. His business. In the first service, God's servant said, Pastor, showed us some of the blessings that we enjoy when we serve. One, Divine presence. Mark 16 20. And when God is for a man, when God is for you, what will be against you? In life? Church, I'm asking a question. When God is for you, what is it that is permitted to be against you? When you are into service, forget any other thing. Please, make that choice to serve. Join in this train of service. Number two, number two, blessing. We talk about rise as a giant. Service will turn any mere man to a giant in life. Luke 22, 25 to 27. When we are committed into service, greatness is sure. Number three, a good old age. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A good old age. Genesis 25 verse 8. Psalm 105 verse 42. Abraham was a servant of God. He lived to a good old age. Not it. Good old age. Not just old age. There are some old age that are bad. 
when they need to carry to go to the toilet. So that's the good old days that everybody should When they need to chew meat or chew food. And then I'll say, Papa, we are take. That's, that's all it. That's all it. But good old age. At 100. You're still standing yourself. You're still walking about. You still, you still, you still, if you still want to drive, you drive. You can still see. You can still identify people. Oh, she lay, At one ten, you, you can call your children by their names. That will be your portion. Good old age. That at one hundred, you are still blessed. To still be giving out. You see, have enough resources not to take care of yourself, but to still give. You are not, not a liability. Amen. You are not a liability. Amen. No parent heir will become a liability to their children. I can't hear your amen. Let me loud amen. And one more. Which I think, let me add one more to it. It secures our future generations. It our future generations. Serving God does not only bless us. The blessing can be inherited. The blessing we go beyond our lifetime. When you are serving God, your children are already having a future that will be making ways to open to them without their struggle. So that by the time you are now 70, 80, your children, they have achieved what you have not achieved at all. You have added years of accomplishment to them by your own investment to Psalm 112, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 112, verse 1 to 3. Amen. Amen. Can you imagine our father in the faith now? Bishop David Rupo. The achievement of his children at this young age. Can you imagine that? Bless God for the children, the children, the rest. But also bless God for their father. Who has added years to their labor. Probably now, if my statistics, if my statistic is right. So by the baby moche shiro leto. David Jr., Pastor David Jr., is the pastor of the largest church in the globe now. Let's go for his life. If he's not capable, that church won't be. Let's go for his father who has added. How will, you feel, how will you feel as a father? You are, alive. you are still agile, you are still productive. And your child is producing results that yourself you are looking at. Say, ah, ah. Oh, oh, man, when did I stop carrying you? When did, I just, when did your mama leave, drop you from the back? Right before your eyes. You could see the hand of God come upon you. And then you could see your child. That is success. Lift your up now. Your testimony will be better. In the name of Jesus. That is what service does. That's what that service does. That is what service does. That is what service does. In the name of just grace to serve, is released upon you. Now, what are the platform for service? For service, we are told by praying for increase of the world. Acts chapter 6, verse 4 to 7. So when we pray for the word of God to increase, we are serving God. Let me add one to that. By 
commitment to targeting friends with our testimonies. Take testimonies and target friends with testimony. We have had amazing testimonies today. You look at this one. Oh, ah. This my friend. This is the same challenge he had. That is really looking for miracle now. You carry that testimony. You go and tell him. Look at what God did in the life of this brother. He will do the same for you. But you need to come to him. You have a relative who has been having a challenge. We had a testimony of that precious daughter. The sister has been married for 10 years. No charge. And then became a traitor. But she sowed the seed to God. And then they were serving her. And she gave birth. Nine months of death. And a year after, the sister also gave birth. That's the testimony of Jesus. You have anybody around you having a challenge of fruitfulness. Now, carry that testimony. God wants to solve your problem. See what God did. If he has done it before, he will do it again. But now, you need to come close to him give your life to him and do what they did. When you commit yourself to this, you are serving God. That's service. And that's the cheap way to win souls. I, I said it last Sunday, I don't carry Bible when I go to win souls. I carry testimonies. Testimony of my life. Testimony of people. I tell the people what God has done. Because what they are looking for is solution. I tell them, God can do it for you now. Do you want God to do it for you? They will say yes. So let me pray for you now. The soul is one. Lift your hand now. Receive grace in Jesus' name. What do we do to make our service work? We are told in the first service. Serve without shame. Romans 1.16 Let me add one to it. Serve sacrificially. Sacrifice means going beyond your best. Going further than your ability. That it places a cost on you. When we serve God that way, then it will deliver result. Now lift your turn Jesus and grace me to serve you. 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 I thank you all. In Jesus' mighty name, we are perfect. I can't hear your amen. Grace for service. Receive it right now. That amen is too weak. Quickly, let's look at the covenant of business and career breakthrough. Psalm 1, verse 3. And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in a season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth, shall what? I can't hear you. Shall what? Let me hear you. Shall what? Lift your hand up now. What you do, your business, your handiwork, your career, your profession, I stand by the authority of scriptures, and I speak to the world, from today, you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. So, continuous breakthrough in what we do, that is God's ordination for us as children. Breakthrough continuously. And we serve the God of, of covenant. So all we need is understand the covenant. 
that we make for breakthrough in what we do. And when we understand the covenant and we apply it, watch as the work of your hand will just be going. From today, you will advance supernaturally. In the first service, the state pastor gave us four points. Number one, be born again. John 3, 3 to 5. That is the first step. Until Jesus steps into a man's boat, the storms we never allow that boat to move forward. Every storm that has been challenging your destiny, I command the seas now. Number two, we are told in the first service, walk in the light, the light of God. Isaiah 16, verse 1 to 3. Number three, we are told to be committed to service. Luke chapter 5, verse 3 to 4. Amen. Amen. And number four, Amen. we are told to be diligent. Proverbs 22, 26. Be diligent. Hard work. Please get this message of the first service. Let me add two or three more quickly. So number five now. Be committed to obey instructions. Obey every instruction of God. Deuteronomy 28. Verse 1. If you were acting diligently to the voice of the Lord your God, to observe, to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, that the Lord your God we do what? Church, we do what? Set on It takes work. In your career. In your business. In your endeavor. When you do. Lift your thumb now. Grace for obedience. Receive on your life now. Number, number, number six. Which is number two in this second service. Be faithful. Be faithful. Be faithful. Luke 16, verse 11 and 12. Faithfulness means doing the right thing without monitoring or supervision. If therefore you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who shall commit to you? Who shall commit to your trust the true riches? If you are not faithful, and you are righteous. Forget the rest. Verse 12. If you are not faithful in that which is another man, who shall give you that which is your own? Many of us have been struggling because we have not been faithful. You are working for somebody. Do it without supervision. You do business with anybody. Do it with a pure heart. That is what we entitle you for your own. The next. Faithfulness is needed to break through in business. Number seven. Engage the covenant of seed time and harvest. Sowing seed so that you can have harvest. Even at your small level, sow seed now so that God can, can open new doors to you and make your business to go forward. Sow seed. Both of people that are over you and below you. Our seed is our breakthrough force that will pierce you through all the obstacles. 
Lift your third ground. You are breaking through now. And finally, the lifestyle of thanksgiving. The lifestyle of thanksgiving. John chapter 6. Take it from verse 6 to verse 13. They were in the, in the wilderness. Jesus had the challenge of feeding 5,000 people. He had only five loaves. Five loaves. And some few fishes. Took that small thing lifted it up and gave things. And then there was multiplication. You want your business to keep advancing? Thank God always for any level you find yourself. You end the day and there is no sale. Thank God that no robbery took place in your business. You enter the week. You didn't meet your target. Thank God for the little sales you have. When Jesus thanked God for that five months, there was an explosion. Rise up on your feet. Jesus, grace to walk in the covenant. The covenant of breakthrough. Let that grace answer me now. Lift your thoughts and pray. Jesus, grace to walk in the covenant. I receive it now. Grace to walk in the covenant. I receive it now. I receive the grace 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 now. Are you sure you are praying? When we last pray, you know it. It's very loud. It's very strong. Jesus, I receive the grace now. I receive the grace now. The grace to walk in the covenant. I receive of you now. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father, we have asked for the grace to walk in the covenant, the covenant of breakthrough. As you have made known to us today, let that grace answer on the life of each one of us. Those of us that have been working in the covenant before, grace for a better work. Let it come upon us. Thank you, Father, for doing it. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Are you clap for Jesus, church? This will be seated. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. Before we receive the anointing, Matt, uh, Luke, Chapter 15. The father had two sons. One day, the younger one walked out, left the father's house. This father is so loving that he could have told him where he did go and carry Koboko. And why are the devil out of his head? Sit down. But his love is so, is so great. You want to go? That outside is not good. That outside is bad. You are going to be, you are going to be uh, torn apart and you'll be torn to shred and you'll be torn naked. I'm going. Okay, go ahead. But he kept watching and waiting. He will come back. He will come back. And when he saw him afar off, is that my son? He ran. Met him and carried him. I've been waiting for you. Because I never loved it that way. But I can't force you. Some individuals under my voice. Your life has been torn in pieces. The enemy has made a mess of you. Life has done bad to you. You know the truth? That is the indication that you are that son 
you have walked away from the Father. The Father is saying, you come back now. When that son came back, oh, the Father turned the story. Clothed him. Decorated him. And threw a party for him. You are under my voice. The only God is saying, that is you. Will you run back? Come now, come now, so that I can change your story. You want to do, you want to do that now? Rise your feet. Jesus, I'm the one. I'm running back. I'm returning back. I'm returning back. I'm returning back. I'm returning back to you for a change of story. Jesus, I'm back for a new life. Rise your feet. You want to pray with you now? Because your life is going to change, change now, and your story will never be the same again. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. you. Still wants assistance now. Bring them to the front. Come with your Bible. Come with your back. We want to pray with you. Jesus, I'm returning back. I'm returning back home. I'm returning back home. Run here very fast. Run here very fast. We don't have time again. Run here very fast. The enemy has made a mess of your life. The enemy has perfected you. The enemy has torn you. The enemy has torn you. The enemy has not allowed you. Come now, come now, come now, come now, come now. In case you are still seated, you don't have time to, to waste. You don't have time. You don't have time. Now, come, 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 come. Run to him now. Run to him now. Chat, are you clapping? Run to him now. The enemy is telling you, don't go. Sit down. God is saying, I brought you to this service to change you, to deliver you, to set you free, to give you a new life. Don't miss this opportunity. Pick your Bible. Run now. Pick your Bible. Stand up. Run now. Others are escaping. Don't be the only one left. Somebody is to come. Come, 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 come. Come now. Come now. Come now. Come now. Heaven is excited. Heaven is excited. Heaven is excited. Don't be the one that the enemy will keep. If the enemy is losing people like this, losing many like this, if you are the only one left, you will be so angry by the time you are true that you, uh, hey, all that left me, you are the one I will do with you now. Don't be that one. Don't be that one. Don't be that one. Escape for your life now. Escape for your life now. Church, are you excited for this house? Come on. Clap for Jesus now. Come, 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 come to him now. Somebody is sitting there, you are hearing my voice. As I'm talking now, your heart is beating. Your heart is beating. Fear is keeping your heart. That is you. The only God is talking about. Come to him now. He wants to save you. He wants to change your story. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Awesome. Back on up. Somebody you gave your life to Christ one time or the other before. But the life you are living now, you know God does not like it. The things you are doing now, you know God does not like it. Now, hear me. God is not condemning you. God is not angry with you. He's only saying, will you allow me to change your story and deliver you from those nonsense that are going down? If that is what I'm talking about now. Stand on your feet. Join them in front. Jesus, deliver me from this sin. Deliver me from this wrong habit. Deliver me from these things that have not allowed me to live the life that pleases God. Wherever you are, rise your feet. Let's pray with you now. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Come to